everybody, and thanks for joining me in today's video where I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Violet. Now then, in the last video, we were just about to take on the gym leader, Letty. So, let's hop right in. What? 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 What, what did you do to all those people? What did you do to all those people? There are a bunch of people sitting and eating there, and now they're just... gone! What did you do to them? What did you do to them? Laddie, a name that strikes fear into the hearts of all trainers. Laddie. Yes, I wish to challenge Laddie. Laddie. Larry, you're up. Yeah, you weren't fooling anyone. Y you really weren't. Damn! Damn! Them eyebrows! He's got some insane eyebrows! Damn! Also, why are your pupils square? Good job in making your way through the gym test. And, well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. You know, something I find interesting is that every gym leader so far in this game has had a secondary job. Kind of interesting, because it's like... This means that being a gym leader probably doesn't actually pay anything. Because you have the first gym leader, who is a baker... Then you had the second gym leader, he was an artiste. Then the third gym leader, Iono, who was a streamer. Iono was amusing. I really liked fighting her. And then we have the water guy, whose name I forgot, but he was a chef. That's the word I'm looking for. He was a chef, and now this guy is an office worker. Kind of intriguing that every single one of them has an actual job apart from their gym leader. They've never done that before, at least not to my knowledge. You are challenged by gym leader Laddie. Hey, wait, I know you. You're a psychic type. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Are you gonna be moving while doing this? Like, huh? Are, are, are you gonna... Aren't you just gonna stand there and tell your Pokemon what to do? Do you have to move? To... Oh, whatever. To, to each their own, I guess. El Crocodile. Supreme. Joke's on you! I changed typing! La! And with every strike, I simply grow strong. La! How am I faster than all of you? I've seen my crocodile's stats, and he has, an, and he has insanely low speed. So how am I faster? That's just embarrassing. Dudun Sparse. Dudun Sparse is a dragon flying type, I think. But still keep you in, because I don't want to screw up your current. I gotta say, I'm really disappointed with the Dune Sparse evolution. Like, they could have made such a cool Pokemon, but they made that. 
I'm happy with a lot of the other Pokemon that they made in Gen 9. Like, Gen 9 was a really good gen. But Dadoon Spark, I'm just not pleased with. Letty. Letty. Do you have any idea how much I despise Paralyze? I don't care if I take damage. I have to heal that off. I hate Paralysis. I hate it so much. I despise it with every fiber of my being. From the first moment I played a Pokemon game and I was paralyzed, I knew from then on I would despise it. Oh. Don't be faster, don't be faster. Yes! I do not know how I am faster than all of you guys, but I don't care. Get dunked on! Nice. Ooh. Shadow Ball. Yes. Mm. I'd say forget Incinerate. Not really useful. Well, Bite's not really useful anymore or at all, either. And Shadow Ball is just overall better, so I'll do that, actually. Forget Bite and learn Shadow Ball. Incinerate could still be useful if there's a Pokemon holding a berry. I don't think I'll ever get to that kind of situation, but this is still better than getting cornered by my boss. Come on, dude. Don't be depressing. We're having a fun Pokemon battle. And that's like an actual problem. So, you know, I'm you're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry! Step it up a notch! We've got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for, you hear? Oh, no. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I am about to one-shot you. I'm so sorry, my man. Larry, my dude. Show us what you've got, Larry. And you too, kid. Larry, my good man. I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. Larry, I'm so sorry. Granted, though, I am interested to see what the normal crystallization is. I haven't seen that one before. Oh, that's the one where they turn into a giant ring. I think it's time to show you what real life isn't all just being true to yourself. Oh, come on, dude. That's sad. I mean, I'm still going to annihilate you in one hit, but come on, man. That's sad. This game has had some really sad points. I was shocked with Masto Stiff. I was not expecting this game to go there. Like, it's a Pokemon game. I did not expect them to go to that sad area. I am glad, however, that Mabo Stiff is getting better. I have one more Pokemon. You certainly threw me for a loop. I have one more Titan to go, and then I'll have healed Mabo Stiff. And when I finally do that, I will be a very happy, happy camper. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Ah, I'm hungry, yeah. Mmm, rice balls. Never actually had a rice ball. I think they're called... Onigiri? I think so. Or that's one name for them, anyway. Having five gym badges in hand makes it easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 45. Oh, and they'll actually listen to you, too. Yeah, that, that's the main point of doing this. This is for you, and hopefully a child like you has no need to put on his namesake. Facade. Oh. Thanks? The dish is here. They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, after all. Now, I'd better get back to work if you'll excuse me. No! No! Dude! 
Dude, come on. I, I tried to exploit the game earlier and bought so many dishes. Just let me pay. I, I feel so bad for you right now. Just let me pay. That guy... Man. That guy just... How? That was sad. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I had guessed as much. Yeah, where's Nimona? I feel like she's just gonna come Kool-Aid manning through the door any minute now. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastical skill you showed. If you managed to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and- Hey! Hey, Crominator! I've got my team picked out! And I saw you battling the gym leader! You just keep getting better! How good to see you again, Champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. I knew she was gonna come through the door. All wild. Whoa! Wait! La Primera? With Crominator? You're not battling her, are you? Is she that important? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one. Even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. I do indeed hold that claim. Alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. Cool. God, my eyes just look soulless. I thought you were too busy to spend your time picking in on gyms. Granted, though, they don't look as soulless as some of the past Pokemon games, but, you know. I, 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 there, there's nothing behind those eyes. There's just pure empty. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout out some rather promising young talent. Whoa, I look away for one second and you're famous, Crominator? I wouldn't say famous. But hey, I found Crominator first. Knew it was coming. Knew it. Knew it was coming. You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. God damn it. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right, come on, Crominator, time for our battle. Quick, let's go, the battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that is all right. Ooh, <laughs> totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Crominator? Yes, quite fun. I really don't care, but you seem to like it, so sure. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. Wonder what would have happened if I said no. They probably would have just gone, well... Suck it up, because I'm going to watch anyway. Let's be on our way, then. I haven't actually seen this for myself, but apparently there was a point earlier on in the game where Nimona is going, you'll only battle me, right? And you have the option to say no or yes. And I, trying to be nice, said yes. And apparently if you say no, she just keeps on asking until you say yes. She... She is Yandere without the actual murder part. Which arguably makes her better than Yandere. Or worse to some weird people. You remember how it all... Oh wait, you remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located to the, to the northwest of Mesagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment will feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now set your sights on reaching that big important stage and let's battle- Excuse me one moment. I believe Crominator's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Yes, please. Thank you. Sorry, got a little caught up in my battle hunger. I noticed! Well, you should all be in great shape now, thanks to La Primera. Okay, Crominator, time to put our game faces on. Let's have us another fruitful battle. Alright, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel down in the description below. And be sure to leave a comment on what you enjoyed. But anyway, hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Bye bye